Colonel William F. Guile, known affectionately to his closest friends as Gully. A force to be reckoned with in his younger days, Guile was the master of many unique abilities, able to hold any ballet pose for an entire minute. Remarkable dexterity with invisible handcuffs, throwing magic, and even complete invincibility. And now, the master himself will teach you his killer techniques! I must apologize for that ridiculous intro. I'm Fluxcore from nzism.com, and I'm going to walk you through Gile's many glitches in Street Fighter 2 World Warrior. Free Sonic Boom. Gile throws a sonic boom without needing to hold back to charge. Perform a strong throw, then continue holding the same direction and press any punch button just after recovering from the throw. You can walk forward a little and still get a sonic boom out. While this isn't particularly useful on its own, it can be combined with some other glitches. Stance. Gull becomes stuck on a recovery frame of his upside down kick. While having most of the charge for a sonic boom, press back and roundhouse while near an opponent to perform the upside down kick. During the animation, press towards in any punch for a sonic boom and Gar will freeze near the end of the animation. While Gar can be hit out of stance, this frame of animation has no low hurtbox, so is invulnerable to most low attacks. If time runs out or you KO the opponent into stance, the game won't continue until you escape stance. Escape stance at any time by performing a flash kick. Some computer opponents will react to stance in certain ways, which can allow for good setups into other glitches. E.g. Zangief may larry it just out of range repeatedly in front of you, or sometimes just spams various punches. Claw can uselessly slide at you repeatedly. Ken usually whiffs a dragon punch. Dictator will often slide once, which won't hit. Stance looks cool, but is not generally useful, but is a requirement for other glitches. Magic Throw Guile throws the opponent without touching them. For a magic throw away from you, while in range for the upside down kick, charge a sonic boom, then walk slightly forward, then press roundhouse followed by fierce or strong one frame afterwards. The button presses are exactly like plinking in Street Fighter 4. I do this by hitting roundhouse with my third finger, followed by my middle finger on fierce. For a magic throw towards you, while in range for the upside down kick, charge a sonic boom, then quickly tap forward then back on the stick, then press roundhouse followed by fierce or strong one frame afterwards. The towards magic throw has slightly less range due to not walking forward before the button presses, but as the opponent is brought towards you, follow ups are more possible. Regardless of whether you use strong or fierce, the magic throw is a strong throw, and the free sonic boom glitch works after it just like a normal strong throw. And since magic throw is possible off a sonic boom charge, you can use the free charge for subsequent magic throws too. As long as they are still in range, you can keep magic throwing until they are dead. For repeated magic throws away from you, perform the initial magic throw, continue holding forward and tap roundhouse fierce at the right time. For repeated magic throws towards you, perform the initial magic throw towards and continue holding back, then tap forward, back, roundhouse, fierce at the right time. If the opponent crosses your body, then you just have to switch direction as they cross, then press roundhouse, fierce slightly afterwards. Extra tricks with magic throw. As a throw, once the magic throw is started, it is completely invincible, and nothing the opponent can do can escape it. Not jumping away, not dragon punching, nothing. Anti-air flash kick often leaves the opponent near enough for a magic throw or three. Ticks into magic throws are very nasty. Claw can be magic thrown off his cage. Blanker can be magic thrown out of horizontal ball. Magic throws can be performed on all three bonus stages, and much more.
Magic Throw from Stance. Magic throwing from stance requires a slightly modified motion incorporating a flash kick. Charge down back, then roll the stick to forwards, then up forwards, as in the Targany motion. Hold it there a little, then press and hold roundhouse, then fierce punch or strong as you would for a normal magic throw. For a towards magic throw from stance, charge down back, then roll the stick quickly to forwards, then up forwards, then up back, then press and hold roundhouse and fierce punch. Basically, do the normal magic throw motions, but make sure to hit the diagonals. Magic throwing from stance can be useful on its own, but is also part of other glitches. Handcuffs Guile throws the opponent, who then becomes frozen and stuck to Guile. Charge down for a flash kick, perform a strong throw, then interrupt it with a flash kick. Practical ways to roll the stick from down to up back, and then flick your fingers quickly downwards over strong punch then forward kick. The direction of throw you perform only changes the animation, the effect is identical. The only way to escape handcuffs is by a magic throw. Note that if time runs out while you have the opponent in handcuffs, you will be unable to escape and the machine will have to be physically restarted. Handcuffs is useful for wasting time and for practicing other glitches. Handcuffs from stance. Entering handcuffs from stance is a little different. Simply do a flash kick with strong punch and forward kick at the exact same time. Reset. The machine resets. Charge down for a flash kick, perform a fierce throw, and then interrupt it with a flash kick. Just like handcuffs, but with fierce roundhouse instead. There's no particularly good reason to do this unless you want to quit in style. Free flash kick. Gaal has a stored flash kick which is unleashable with the simple press of a kick. Perform a strong throw, then instantly begin charging down. Just before Gaal recovers, press up in any kick. Gaal's animation looks like he walks backwards for a frame. Do a normal kick. You now have a flash kick charge stored for about 3 seconds. Press any kick button while grounded to do a flash kick. This includes after jumping or walking forward, while crouching, in a combo, basically whenever you could normally do a flash kick. You can even use this free flash kick to perform the handcuffs or reset glitches, Simply do a strong throw and then press any kick for handcuffs, or do a fierce throw and then any kick to reset the machine. Fake Magic Throw Guile magic throws the opponent, but the opponent is unaffected. Perform a magic throw from stance, except let go of the buttons as soon as possible. Holding the buttons for longer than 3 frames will perform a normal magic throw. Fake Magic Throw from handcuffs actually shows the animation throwing the opponent, but they re-enter handcuffs. Usually fake magic throw is just for showing off, although it is essential for the final glitch. Invincibility Guile becomes frozen in place, but is totally invincible. The useless invincibility is entered by performing handcuffs, then holding the direction of the throw you are doing, and then pressing the opposite direction and punch for a sonic boom just before recovering. So, if you enter handcuffs holding up back, continue holding back, then press forward and punch. This invincibility is pretty useless because while you are invincible, the opponent is also stuck in handcuffs. But it is good for practicing the timing for the real invincibility. The proper invincibility is achieved by entering stance, then performing a fake magic throw when the opponent is within upside down kick range, continue holding the direction of the throw, then perform a sonic boom in the other direction just before recovery, as in the other invincibility. Guile is now completely invincible. No attacks or projectiles will affect him, and he is also unthrowable. In fact, the only thing which can hurt him is another Guile's magic throw. However, since you can't pick the same character in World Warrior, Guile vs Guile requires hacks. Invincibility is considered the same as stance in every way, so you can do the same tricks and glitches from it, and escape from it with flash kick, even after the round ends. Now you have a comprehensive repertoire of guile glitches in Street Fighter 2 World Warrior. Try them out, none are actually all that difficult. And try them in combinations, it's a lot of fun. For more technical information about these glitches, check out nzism.com and the link in the description. Thanks for watching.